Love it. Hello everyone, this is Lisa, the Heart of Inspiration, and here on this channel, we're here to help you lead a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. And welcome, Pisces, to your February 2019 monthly reading. This is for sun, moon, or rising. So if your sun sign is Pisces and it doesn't uh, resonate with this reading, then please feel free to check out either your rising or your moon as I get them up. Um, first, I want to welcome all new viewers. Thank you for stopping by and checking this out. And to all of my frequent flyers, welcome back aboard. We're going to get started right now. So Pisces, I want to talk to you first about your overall theme of the month, okay? So overall, we have the Queen of Cups, and I'm using the Star Child Tarot deck. Uh, so that card actually came up just in the... Aquarius reading as well. So we're going to wait to see if this is kind of a theme. Um, but I'm beginning to sense that February is going to be a month for all of us to really be kind to ourselves and love ourselves. Okay. Be kind to ourselves and love ourselves. Um, everything that we've been going through lately, it's all these energies are so, they've been really strong. And we've been going through a lot of change and a lot of, you know, just tower moments and all of that. So just remember, be kind, show love to yourself first so that you can show love to others. And then we also have the Six of Swords. So there could be some travel, could be releasing as well. Thoughts, thought patterns, belief systems, uh, beliefs, all these things that um, go in, that really aren't serving us anymore. So, and just kind of catching your reading here as I'm looking at it, we're going to get into it. You know, I think you're going to, this month is going to be about releasing prior thought patterns. And as you're coming into your birthday month, just really double down, you know, doubling down on where am I really at? Is this really serving me? Is this program that I've been given as a child or young adult or what have you honestly serving me? Or is it doing me more harm than good? Is it really enhancing my life? Or should I just kind of walk away from it and let that thought pattern go? Swords talk a lot about not only communication, but the mind. So really look at that too. As you're going through the loving yourself process, go through an assessment process of each, each thing that, you know, perhaps how you view money, how you view success, how you view relationships, how... Um, you know, the self-love, self-esteem, all of this. And then also the Eight of Crystals comes up. So please do your work. This is a do your work month. And then Star Seed as well, which is the full card in this deck, which says new beginnings. So um, February is going to be is a month of clearing, cleansing, and then let's push the restart button and see what pops out. The first week of February, we have the Three of Cups. A time of celebration, um, Pisces, a time of celebration. There's been so much work being put in and you'll be putting more work in, but really own um, and be proud of how far you've already come. With the Seven of Cups, I do see also choices. It's going to be a choice to be joyful this month, Pisces. It's a choice to be joyful. Okay, seems that we've got, oh, Queen of Cups. Sorry, guys. Queen of Cups wanted to show back up. It's You have a choice. You've got the choice to either love yourself, walk in love in all aspects of your world. Um, don't be afraid to show your feelings. The Queen of Cups offers her cup of love willingly, offers her support willingly. So if you're a Pisces that's been in a bit of a deep dive, kind of come up to the surface. It's okay. It's safe. Really, it is. Um, and the choices you have to make really are going to be, are you going to release some of the old crap and come into the new stuff that's fulfilling and life-giving? Fulfilling and life-giving. The second week of February, we have the Two of Cups. Boy, oh boy. Now, this Two of Cups... You'll see that we have a rainbow here, as well as a potentially godlike figure, and then someone that's kind of like submitting themselves or just enveloping themselves 
just within this energy of love. And a rainbow, you know, signifies covenant, right? That's the covenant in biblical terms that God made that he would never flood the earth again and destroy the earth by flood. So make a covenant with yourself because right here we have the nine of cups, which also then says you're pleased with where you are. Be pleased, be happy, be joyful, be proud of what where you've come from, um, all of the accomplishments you've made, all of these energies you've worked through, these moments, these I've had to release so much, you know. All of us really have had to look at, if we're choosing to look at our narrative and say, wow, is this really me? And so Pisces, acknowledge that fact. Now, if there has been um, a particular person that you may have been um, involved with before, perhaps during the second week of February, uh, that person may come back or that person, at, maybe you're going to feel well enough and good enough about yourself that you realize you are enough. And here we have the Queen of Wands. So here we have this queen that's very self-confident and passionate. So there is a potential that you finally are feeling like you are more than enough or you are enough to reach back out to that person that you had been with or that you have been in relationship with or that you really want to be in relationship with and have the self-confidence to come forward and rekindle it. I can't say for sure that they're going to want to rekindle it with you, but at least put yourself out there. Truth is truth. Put yourself out there. Speak your truth. You never know what's going to happen. Okay? The third week, we have the King of Crystals. All about your bag. All about your money. Abundance flowing by the third week. And, you know, really the transformative energy that comes about as a result of loving oneself, releasing toxic crap, things that just really aren't, like really looking at it and saying, how has this worked out for me? You know, has this mindset really worked for me or has it really kind of destroyed my life a little bit? Has my uncertainty about myself, my low self-esteem due to uh, uh, family upbringing and such, how has that really worked out? Because if it's really made you, put you in a solitude place, or um, you're so, so much of a loner, which a lot of Pisces are, um, maybe it's time to relinquish that thought of not being enough and recognize that you are enough. Because you are. You're beautifully and wonderfully created, Pisces. So sit in that belief and sit in that truth and let that truth sink in because the King of Crystals is, you know, kind of just shy of the magician. And um, he manifests all that he needs. If you notice with this card, his heart chakra is definitely illuminated. And so he is literally creating from his heart center. He's literally emoting the highest vibrational, the highest electromagnetic energy that he has. And everything around him is coming to him, right? It's coming into manifestation. Crystals, pentacles are all about manifestation. And then we also have the universe, which in this deck is... It constitutes the world. So there is a chapter. And that third week in February is really when your season comes in. So the chapter, prior chapter, is closing. What are you going to take from that prior chapter? And what are you going to leave behind when you turn the page? And then as we come into the last week of February, Pisces season in full swing here, we do have the Four of Swords. Peace. Right? You are coming into a place of peace. And also the Queen of Swords, where you're able to really speak your truth and speak it in love and own your truth. Okay? And then we have the Ace of Crystals. Great, grand, new beginnings. Abundance in every area of your life. As we close out February. How fabulous is that? Pisces, this is an amazing reading for you. Seize the moment in February. Seize it. All of it. Embrace it. Love it. Let it be you. Okay? All right, Pisces, that's what I have for you. Thank you again. Please do consider liking um, and subscribing to this channel if you're not already subscribed. Leave me some comments below to let me know how it resonated with you. Also, down below in the description are different ways to work with me, um, either by spiritual coaching or energy work and uh, or by readings. And also, consider looking at that spiritual conference that we're having March 8th through the 10th right here in Madison, Wisconsin. 
um, propel into purpose. So if you've been trying to get on your track with your life purpose and just, you know, wanting your spiritual gifts enhanced, um, looking for some, a deeper healing of oneself and looking to be Reiki attuned because we are doing Reiki one attunement, um, please consider looking at that and register because registration is open and it is filling up. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you all. Namaste. Bye-bye.